All right, guys. I think it's, oh yeah, it's recording now. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. Coach Derek is at his house in Colorado Springs today, and I'm at uh, 365 inside the Mountain Ice Rink. So uh, we're gonna run through a workout. Uh, Coach John's gonna do his best to stay with this. Uh, we'll see how I do. Uh, a lot of lower body on this one. It's a little bit different than last week. Last week was more of a circuit. The more conditioning, a little more conditioning. This one is more about holding position, bracing, uh, kind of isometric strength, basically. So, kind of a couple things you might want to grab next minute here or two is, or 30 seconds, I guess, is going to be a duffel bag or a kettlebell or a dumbbell, some weight if you need it. Um, or if you have a weight vest at home, you can also use that for some of these exercises. Or you can grab uh, an animal. Looks like dogs are in there, so they're helping out today. I can't see any on the video, but. Um, so what we're gonna, first obviously we're gonna do is make sure the water's nearby. There will be rest periods in between each one, so there kind of be moments where we're kind of just waiting around for the next round to start. Um, you know, if, like I said, if we need to challenge ourselves more, we will add a little bit of weight by holding something or wearing something to make it harder, so. Um, Let's prepare that now, and then we'll start the dynamic warm-up here. Uh, first thing in the dynamic warm-up is just gonna be high knees, we're gonna high knees in place, okay, about 10 each side. We're gonna butt kicks, 10 each side. Another 10 squats. Counting. I think it's eight. Plus one to ten. Yeah. <laughs> With five knee to chest. Skeleton sides. Plant foot is flat. Again, Coach John is not counting. Right. Yeah. Next. Pull inside. Pull the lower leg. Don't pull in the foot. Quad pull next, pull behind, pull behind. Boost walk, stationary, put that foot out in front of you, crank your back as as possible, lean forward, and then feel starts on the hands. Alternate sides, we'll do about seven to 10 each side. Okay, and we're gonna do five skater hops each side. Make sure this floor area around you is nice and clear. Push side to side. And we'll do two jumping jacks. Grab with a little sip of water. We'll get in the first exercise. Ready to go. All right, grab a drink. If you need one, get ready to go. The first exercise we're gonna do is isometric squats. So how it's gonna work is we're gonna do 10 squats. Kind of how we did in the warm up. So if you need weight, like Coach Derek's grabbing a dog right now, uh, grab an animal, duffel bag, kettlebell, dumbbell, weight vest, whatever you need, you need 10 squats, okay? You're gonna full depth, and at the, on the 10th squat, you're gonna hold the position. So the first time we go is we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Then there's gonna be a rest period. I'll start the timer and I'll tell you guys when to start again. Okay? We're gonna 10 squats. And then it's a 10 second hold and I will time the 10 seconds, okay? So if we're kind of, you're a little bit ahead of my pace, 
then you're just going to wait till I start the timer for the 10 second hold. If you're a little bit behind, then obviously you can take your timer out and we time yourself if needed. But um, here we go. Ready? 10 squats, ready? Go. Ready, on the hold. Down, 10 seconds, here we go. Time, stand up, shake it out, rest, put your dog down if you're holding the dog. I don't know, I think the dog might be confused a little bit. Okay. So this time it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be 10, 10, 10 squats, but this time we're holding for 15 seconds, okay? So if you have to, if you're holding an item, you're doing your squats, and you, it's, you're good on the squats with the weight, but you get tired and you can't hold the weight anymore, put the weight down, okay? So we don't have to have the resistance for both. You can have the resistance for one or the other or both, right? All right, ready? It's gonna be 10 squats. Which starts picking up a weight now, not a dog. Ready, go. And we're gonna do the hold now, 15 seconds. Ready, go. Make sure you're breathing through this, make sure your chest is up. Right through the core. Put your on the side view right now. Man, time. Stand up. We're gonna rest. 45 seconds here. Shake it out. Get water if you need to. Take layers off if you need to too. Anybody else on? Nope. We've got about 15 seconds here, guys. So the next one, what's gonna happen is, it's again, you need 10 squats, body weight or weighted. If you're tired at this point, you put the weight down and just go body weight. It's still challenging. I'm just doing body weight right now so I can be able to communicate at the same time. Um, it's gonna be 20 second hold this time. So we're upping the ante a little bit. Okay, it's the same thing. We're breathing through, we're staying tight through the core. We're getting a good back position. And that's the biggest thing, right? We gotta make sure our back's in a good position. All these exercises and we're doing a hold, okay? All right, you ready? 10 squats, ready? I think Coach Derek's going up and wait. Ready? All right, we're going 20 second hold here. And we're going down. Go. Get back on those heels. Get that chest up. Breathe through it. And time. Set up. Go a minute 30 rest here. We're going to switch transition exercises. Okay? So. Next one we're gonna do, we clear some space, so we're gonna be on the ground. Okay, if you want a mat, grab a mat now, or move to an area, if you're on concrete, move to an area that's maybe, that's grass or carpeted area in the house. Okay, then we're gonna go push up. So we'll put it lower, we're gonna go up right now, give the lower body a rest, okay? We're gonna do 10 push ups, but when we're on 10 push ups, we can do two variations. We can always do a regular push up, or we're gonna do push up from the knees. We're gonna push up from the knees if we have to, if we can't get 10 quality push ups. We're gonna be from the knees, angle forward, and we're dropping our chest down to the floor, and we're pressing back up, and we're keeping that body straight. It makes it a little bit easier, uh, okay? So it makes it a little bit easier for us to do the push ups. And the same thing with the hold, we can do that hold from that position, from the knees. So if you have to get fatigued, we're here, okay? Obviously, the regular push-ups are going to look like this. 
and then we're gonna hold down here when it's off, okay? So, do the variation that you need to do on this to make it work. Um, it's gonna be the same pattern, so we'll follow the same pattern. 10 push-ups and then 10 second hold. 10 push-ups, 15 second hold. 10 push-ups, 20 second hold, okay? So, obviously it's gonna to be tough, a little bit tough for some of us, so we're just gonna to have to work at, work at your level. So like I said, then go into the knees variation, halfway through a set, that's okay. Going through a whole set like that, that's also good. You wanna just work at your level, right? Okay, so we're gonna start with 10 push-ups, and then we'll go to 10, uh, 10 second hold on this one, okay? And then we'll have a rest and we'll go to the next one, okay? You guys ready? Push Derek, ready? Push Derek, put his backpack on. Again, you can have resistance if you need to. Okay, I'll let you fix the stopwatch for a second, okay? Ready? Go 10 push ups, go. Okay, Coach Derek's ready. We're gonna go for the hold. Ready, 10 seconds, go. All right, good. Take out your arms a little bit if you have to. Stand up, probably in between as you're resting. Wait for the next set. Next one, we're going to 10 push, 10 push ups again in 15 seconds. So we're going to rest here for about probably another 30 seconds. And then we're going to go again. Okay? So, you know, I emphasize it enough. Do the variation that makes sense for you um, in terms of your ability and your strength levels. So, some of the younger guys, and girls, maybe you have to do the variation on the second or third set. That's okay. As we get stronger, we'll be able to do a full full version with, with weight potentially. Okay, we're gonna get ready here. Good 10 seconds. We're going to again, we're going 10 push-ups, 15 second hold. You guys ready? Get ready and go. And ready for hold, set, go. Fine, good. Take it out. Kneel, stand up, whatever you need to do. Grab water. This version, or this round, we will go for 10 push-ups and 20 second hold. And then we will move into our next exercise, which will be another lower body one. So 30 seconds rest left here. So on this, on this last set, I will be doing the modified version, just so you can see, guys can see a full set on the modified, how the modified looks. And I think Coach Derek's going up in weight or something, because you know that's just what he does. I think he's low, he loaded that backpack up even more now, so he's getting prepped to to do that. Okay, so I'll go from the side so you guys see the hip hip position and my alignment. Okay, so we're going from the I'm doing modified for the third set, just so you guys can see a full set with modified. Okay. 10 push-ups, ready, go. Ready for hold, set, 20 seconds, go. Stopwatch, sorry guys. And time. Good job, guys. Resting. Give the arms, give the triceps and the chest a little bit of a break. A little bit of shoulder burner there. But it's good for us. So 
Good work on that one. Move to the next one. It's gonna be a split squat. So we talk about squat versus lunge. Difference between squat and a lunge. Squat, our feet don't move. Take about a body weight squat. Feet are stationary, right? When we talk about lunges, our feet are moving. And obviously that can be in multiple directions, but um, generally speaking, we talk about lunge, we talk about our forward lunge most of the time. So we talk about our split squat position. We're, our feet, our, both our toes are going to put in the same direction. And from the side, we're looking at it like this, okay? And we're going to drop into our position here. So we want that knee to come pretty close to the ground and come back up. And then obviously at the end of our 10 reps, we're going to do a hold here, okay? So for some of you, some of you guys who are a little bit tighter in the hip flexor or the quad, it's going to feel like a stretch. Uh, that's okay. If, and then also, too, it's going to burn to both legs. So that position, and then obviously with through both sides. So what it's going to be is we're going to do 10 reps on one side, 10 second hold so on the same side we just went. So on the 10th rep, we just sit into the position. Okay, if you have to wait for me because I'm my timer, I time a bit slow or you got into it a bit quicker, then just, or I'm doing the reps, sorry, I'm doing the reps and I'm going a little bit slower with you. Just wait for the timer to start. Um, and then obviously I'm going to give a short break, so probably 10, 15 seconds. Then we're going to switch both, both me and Coach Derek, we're going to switch sides, then we're not to the other side. And then we'll go to the, then we'll rest for the next set, a longer rest, and then we'll do that two more times with, with different hold time, okay? So you pick which foot you want to go. I like to do a left foot in front. Coach Derek, what foot are you going to go in front first? I'll go right foot in front. Coach Derek's going right. So you pick your foot that you want to go, just, okay, whatever side you want to get done with first, I guess that's the side to pick. Or if you say I can save, save the easy side for the second side, doesn't matter. Okay, again, you want to add resistance, you're going to grab a weight of some sort from your house. Same thing using the squat one, and it's holding it there. Yeah, that's going to challenge you, obviously. Last thing I'll say about this is the body position. We do not want to be here on the knees resting while we're doing it or while we're doing the hold, okay? So we want to be staying nice and vertical. Okay, so your chest is up. Get a logo on your shirt. I don't think you can read it for this from there, but you see my logo is like nice and upright. You should be able to present that to the camera, okay? So we're gonna do 10 reps, 10 second hold, 10 second rest, switch sides. Okay, ready, set, 10 reps, go. Ten one we're gonna hold. The knee's not touching every time, so ready, hold, go. So my knee's not touching the ground here. It's hovering above. You can do whatever you want with your hands, wherever you need to do. Distract yourself from the burning. And time. 15 second rest here. Get ready to switch legs. So the other leg will go in front now. And it's gonna be the exact same thing. It's gonna be 10 reps and a 10 second hold. Okay, ready guys? Set, go. Ready, go. And time, shake it out. I think for me, this is harder than the squat. It's definitely burns my legs the most. So um, that's gonna be different for each person, right? Everyone's different. Everyone's stronger in certain positions, holding positions, okay? So um, we're gonna rest for another 30 seconds here, and then we'll go to the next one. And it's gonna be to start with this. the reps are gonna be the same, the whole time's gonna be a little longer. Okay, so we're going to 15 second hold time on this one. And obviously this one's a little more challenging because you have to do both sides and then do the hold on both sides. That obviously takes a lot more energy than just squatting and holding. Okay, you've got 10 seconds here on the rest. So go back to your original starting point. So for me, that was my left, because Derek was his right. And then we're going to do 10 reps. Ready? Go.
And we're going to hold. Ready? Go. Just breathe through it. Try and distract your mind. Think about something else. Think about your favorite TV show or something. And up. And rest 15 seconds here. Get mentally ready. Try and deep breaths in between. Calm thoughts. So in a couple seconds here, 10 reps. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Time. Breathe, deep breaths in between. Might be burning a little bit. No mine are. So if you're not feeling the position, then you might be too high. You might not be ending up like up here. And I can hang out all, all day here. Right? So if you're not really feeling your legs, try to adjust that position. So Remember, the position we're looking for is down here, 90 degree, about 90 degree band at each leg. Okay, we've got another 30 seconds here. If you've been using resistance and your legs are getting tired, you can take the resistance off the last rep, the last set here, as our legs are fairly fatigued from doing the ice and squat hold, and obviously split squat now. So, and if you've been skating at all, anything like that, outside, biking, legs might be tired from that too, so. All right. We're gonna go onto your first original side. Mine is my left foot in front. Coach Derek is doing a demo right side in front. Ready? Go, 10, go. You want to see the right depth? Watch Coach Derek, he's inside you. Ready, hold, go. Going 20 seconds this time. Don't think about it. And time. Take a little bit longer rest on this one. As the intensity has picked up, five seconds, yes, it's not too much of a difference, but accumulation of energy that we've used up already, we're getting a little more fatigued, so we're gonna give ourselves a little more rest so we don't have any quality. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. Your second foot's in front, mine's gonna go right foot, but Sarah's going left foot in front, he's going side view, I'm going front of you. Ready, go. Take your time, make sure the reps are quality. Ready, hold. So guys, right now, I think the camera's on me right now. But if you look at Coach Derek's view on his side, I think it's really important to see that, that angle. And time. Okay, we're gonna take a minute and a half here. Kind of walk around. My legs are on fire. My legs are on fire right now. Uh, we're gonna do glute breaks. Okay. So the biggest, the biggest thing that we see is that guys, people will rush through their reps and not really get full extension. So taking the time to get full hip extension is really important. So meaning our hip is a nice straight line. And not have any bend in our hip. We have been here, hip extension when we're staying straight. We got a glute squeeze, okay? Uh, we're gonna start with 15 reps, and it's gonna be a 15 second hold. So, the 15 second hold is obviously at the top. Okay, you need to challenge yourselves. We're gonna throw a bag across the hips. Dumbbell can also go there. Kind of anything really you can find 
that adds a little resistance to that. If you're just gonna go body weight, that's also fine. Body weight will also do the trick. So it's about keeping position, okay? So not getting lazy, not just being able to hang out there, it's not hard. We're focusing, the intensity is higher, and we'll get more out of it, okay? So again, first rep set, 15 reps, 15 second hold, and then we're gonna rest. We're gonna continue that as we increase the duration of the hold, okay? So I'm gonna go side view here, so you can kind of see that position, okay? So we need to pause straight. But I think that the other thing key is probably keeping your head straight, so you're probably not even watching the camera. So you're kind of going to like just do your reps, and then if you need to stop and watch this for a second, watch this, but don't do the reps while you're watching the camera, okay? So I'll just kind of give a command as we're going, so, okay? There's a stopwatch, it's just gonna mess up. All right, 15 reps, 15 seconds. Ready, go. Okay, on the last one, Coach Derek, ready? How are you going, bro? Ready, hold for 15 seconds. Ready, go. Pushing through the heels, keeping that nice straight line, and squeezing our glutes. You should be looking straight up, and you know, if you don't look in the sun, if you're outside, keep your eyes closed if you have to. And time. So, we're gonna rest. Now we're going to go to the second set. And we'll, on that one, we're going to have 15 reps. We're going to go 20 second hold. So the, thing, the intensity is going to go up a little bit because our duration is a little bit longer. So another 15 seconds here, guys. You can get ready to go. Okay, here we go. 15 reps, 20 second hold this time. Ready, go. Okay, ready, set, go. Breathe, make your breathing, don't hold your breath. Use the glutes, core is tight. And time, rest. We're gonna go to 25 seconds this time, okay? So, one, two, same round of reps. 15 reps and the 25 second hold this time. So if you've been using weight this entire time, you're getting a little bit tired, you take the weight off and go down to a lower weight. Uh, if you're feeling good, you're getting more energy for some reason, you can add, you can add some more weight if you, if you can. Another 30 seconds here. Deep breaths, a little water if you need. Twenty seconds. Okay, here guys. Fifteen reps and it'll be twenty five second hold. Okay, you guys ready? Set go. Okay, ready? 25 seconds. Good glute squeeze, tight core, ready, go. You're contracting your glutes right now. Squeeze. 
just get as high as you can. Yeah. And time. Okay, we rest here. Go to minute. We're going to front plank next. The difference with this one is we will not have a movement before it. We will just go into our static low front plank on our forearms, holding good position. We'll go for 30 seconds. If you need to, put your back back on. Um, obviously, number one thing is we don't want to see the lower back sagging. Another 30 seconds here. Grab your mat if you need to grab a mat. If you need to move off concrete or a hard surface and move on to a softer surface, let's do that right now. We've got 20 seconds to go. Back a little bit. Again, here we gotta make sure we're breathing, not holding our breath. Still maintaining good core tightness. Okay, ready? We're going for 30 seconds. I hope I got the timer. Ready, set, go. And time. Okay, rest here for a second, and we'll go again with two more times. After this two out two front planks, we're gonna go do a quick little stretch. Um, if at the end of this you need more to do more stretching, which I'll probably advise, is go looking back at the daily workouts that we've been posting on the rampage Instagram or the 365 Instagram. Uh, you can check out all the other videos that we posted. All of, they're all on the YouTube, resubscribe the YouTube channel. You just search subscribe. Uh, it'll, it'll take you to that and you can kind of look up the majority of things that you can do. At the end of your workouts or after your skate, at the end of your day. Uh, those type of things, okay? And we're back in our front plank. We've got 30 seconds here. So, Jared, ready, set, go. And time. All right, 30 seconds here or so, guys. Just deep breaths here. Get ready for the last one coming up. If you're struggling with low back position, just really focus on squeezing the core, squeezing your glutes, trying to keep that position up. Okay, readjust throughout the set if you have to. You're not stuck in that position. You can move your feet back, you can adjust your position as you go, okay? Are we ready? Last uh, set coming up here, 30 seconds, this is it. Ready, go. Final 10 seconds here. Keep breathing. Stay tight. Two, one, time. Grab a quick drink of water if you need. Okay. What's going to happen next? We'll go through three stretches. And like I said, there's a lot more stretches that we can add to this. If you need, you can reach out to me. Uh, send us a message on Facebook through the Rampage Facebook 
365 Facebook, any social media platforms, reach out. Um, it doesn't go directly to me. I will eventually see it. Um, we can send you some more stretches or more mobility things um, as we go. So these are just going to be three, and we're just going to kind of add you every time we do a video, uh, just give you guys some more ideas to try and help you out with your recovery stuff. Okay. So with this, the first one we're going to do is a knee and hip flexor. So we've done this a lot. Coach Derek's already ready because he knows what I'm going to do because I'm predictable. So it's going to be half knee to position from the side going through this. Okay, we're going to be nice and vertical. We're going to push forward and keep our back straight. We're trying to stretch this hip flexor, okay? Ready? We're going to hold this for 30 seconds, okay? It's going to be, we're not moving. The screen's not frozen. We're just stretching. The biggest, another key thing with stretching is to relax. We want to try and have deep breaths and not increase our heart rate at this point. So then we're tensing up. We want to let the muscle lengthen. Okay, five seconds here. Okay, we switch the sides. We're on the opposite side. Ready, go. Sometimes you won't feel it. So one of the biggest things is probably adjusting position, finding a position that you do feel it. Um, other people are very flexible. So there'll be other modifications you need to add on to that. So that's another thing that you'll find out from going through some of these. Some of these will not really have too much effect on you because you've already got uh, very limber hip flexors, I guess. Time switch, we're going back into it. We're no rest in between, obviously. Other side. So kind of building on that, it's, uh, sometimes you need to modify the stretch base for certain people. Always maybe would be one of them. Someone just has really good mobility, might not feel it. So uh, it's not necessarily all the stretches that work. It's just you have good mobility in that position. So feeling a lot of tightness and going through an extreme. Oh, sorry, we're going to switch here. Ready? Last time on this one. Um, Going to a real, stretching to a, like a really high number in terms of pain um, or discomfort or tightness. Uh, it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for gentle, maybe five, five, six out of ten. Um, so we don't want to be cranking on any soft tissue or anything like that just to force to get extra mobility or extra range of motion. Uh, we want to take it easy. And this, this is one of those things where it takes a lot of time to develop mobility and regain proper range of motion at certain joints, especially the hips. Okay, time. Next one we go to 90-90. So I think we touched a little bit on this the last on the Saturday video. Um, it's gonna be 90 degree angles at both the front and back leg. Okay, so kind of see Coach Derrick's from the front. I'll go from the side. Okay. So you can kind of see like my you can see the bottom of my shoe here and my back looks straight. I don't want pants are blocking the foot back so my leg looks part of the floor. And then we're leaning over the front knee here, okay? So you should feel that stretch kind of in that glute area. And if you need you, you should lean forward more. If you need more upright, you are uh, right, feel that. Uh, it just means you don't want to force any range of motion. So I'm going to stay in this position for another 15 seconds. So if you're keeping score at home, what I've been doing is two times 30 each side for both of these stretches. Okay, you can obviously add more sets to this. If you want to do four or five sets each side, that's, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, we're going to switch sides. There we go. We need four in that side over that front knee. But, oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say before we switch. I lost my train of thought was um, when we're stretching, we want to do this after all our activity, right? We're not going to stretch and then I'm like, hey, I'm going to play roller hockey for four hours. So static stretch is, is for the, meant for the end of the day or end of training. So if I know uh, this is one of the last training session of the day, I'm going to stretch, and then I might stretch again later at night. So always do it at the end of your training day. You know you're, I'm done training. 
Okay, we switch sides. Switch it over the other way. So uh, for activity, obviously it's the dynamic stuff that we do before. Um, this, we add, we kind of modify the, the warrants for the videos just to, if you guys don't watch me or Coach Derek warrant for 10 minutes straight. Um, so it's kind of one of those things for, for the sake of time, but those are dynamic is movement and then status obviously is safe sharing. Okay, flip. Last on this side. Remember, deep breaths, we're relaxing, we're not forcing anything, we're not tensing up. We want to be gentle, breathing good. So, at, so here at the gym, we have the buzzing, so that's what like, relaxes us when we're stretching, we don't want to use some. Okay, switch. Okay, just come back to this, like this position. So we're gonna do a butterfly, so typically, Mostly we're going here with our heels near their body and they're pushing down like this. We're going to let gravity do the work for us, okay? So we're going to have our feet in that position, but we're going to lie down and just as we go, our knees are going to fall more down, more to the side, so it's going to stretch that capacity, right? So we don't have to actively push down, we just let gravity take over, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to go for 90 seconds. Okay, you can go longer into this one if you want to, when you get up, you will feel like, hey, it's a little bit like weaker because it's been like kind of stretched out. So get up slowly. Uh, you just have a weird, kind of a weird feeling. That feeling will go away. But we just, again, like we don't want to crank down on it. So we're just going to let it happen by itself. Okay, so we're going to lie down here. This will be 90 seconds of lying down in the video. So again, your screen is not frozen. We're just lying down. Okay, ready? Go. Cool. Here, try and breathe, focus on relaxing your body. Kind of tense up. Don't think for your legs, let your legs go where they go. Deep breaths here, remember, stretching is called relaxing. Relaxing the body, not tensing up. Halfway here, guys. You just not move, just keep staying there. Thirty seconds left. Three, two, three. Deep breaths. Good. So just come up to slow. Blood to rush your head maybe a little bit. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's that's the end of today. Um, obviously, thanks for watching. Uh, continue to check us uh, 365 YouTube channel. That's where all the videos will be. Um, we'll do kind of post the links on that Facebook uh, page whenever we do post a video. So keep your eye out for that. Again, if you have any questions, reach out. Uh, we'll do our best to answer it, or if we need to send you more videos of different things that you might need from us at this time, obviously, we're trying to get back at it, but, uh, you know, obviously, we're trying to be as safe as possible right now, so, um, obviously, hope everyone's, everyone's staying safe, and everyone's family's nice and healthy right now, so, uh, we'll, we'll, kind of, we'll see you next time here on, on the videos, either we'll post a video tomorrow, uh, at some point during the day, I'll, I'll try and get those links up earlier, I know, last couple of days with the links up like five six o'clock at night so um but yeah feel free to go back to watch any of the videos and, and do any of those workouts when you have a little extra energy or extra time to do some of those but thanks again guys for watching and stopping by